Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be working on an A1707 that's not powering on. Let's open this MacBook up, take a look on the inside of it, and see if we can figure out why it's not powering it on, fix it, and make it work again. Alright, so what we have here is a machine that has a T2 chip. Zero corrosion whatsoever. None. Looks perfectly clean. No liquid. No blown up capacitors. So what I do with all of these machines is I unplug the battery. I plug in the charger with the amp meter. And let's see how much it's taking. 5 volts, 300 milliamps. 400,000 ohms to ground on a PP bus G3 hot. So we don't have a short to ground on a PP bus. Next. CD3215 chip. Let's see if that PP3V3 whatever the hell rail is present. There we go, this one. Are you short it to ground? Okay, that's kill ohms. It's not showing the K on the screen. Probably miscropped it, but 36 kill ohms, that's not, that's not a serious problem here. Hmm. Okay, we're still, when I plug it in, we're still taking 300 milliamps. 3.3 volts on PP3V3. There is nothing even slightly corroded here. Now, the CD3215s would be responsible for getting us up to 20 volts, but they look to be totally fine. And in this machine, they speak to T2 chip. You know what? Yeah. Bane of my existence right here. What do the notes say? Maybe it'll give us an idea. Some history, perhaps. Something we can use to uh, learn and understand the issue. Right after executing the latest security update, the computer died. Hmm. Corrupt T2 firmware, says Piranov. So yeah, what, what are you doing with the firmware when the thing won't even turn on, though? Like, yeah, corrupt T2 firmware. There's you gotta DFU it. Well, what do you do when the thing is stuck at 5 volts? How are you even getting into DFU mode when it's stuck in 5 volts? I'm gonna give this as a present to Chris. See, if we had a camera outside, I'd be able to show you the look on his face when we hand this to him. So you have DFU T2 machine? Yeah, we've been doing it for the past month or so. Oh, wow. So I can stop getting... Yeah, I've been running scared from those for the past three months. When they're perfectly clean, 5 volts, 12.5 PP bus, I yeah. just... Yeah, I did few... And how many worked? Every single one. So you're saying that this, you can destroy the entire hardware of the machine through an operating system update? Yeah. Hardware? Yeah, How yeah, the yeah, fuck? T2. You can destroy T2 through an operating system. Wow. Well, because it right now, the funniest part, right now on my queue, uh, was it was my estimate. Uh, 1707, after uh, update to Catalina, no image. I think this is a BIOS issue. Uh, it's stacked on 20 volts and uh, 0.5 amps, and I don't have a, a SO rail. Every single SO rail is dead. No shorted, no nothing. I think this is about. Can you show how we do this? Yes, of course. Can we make a video of this? You. I make video, but you, okay. I'll be, you be the brain, I be the English. How about, deal? Deal. We need somebody attractive to be the face, though. Let's do it. Video? You're gonna be famous. I don't wanna be famous. Okay, I'll be, fam I'll, I'll you, be famous. I'll be famous. You, you bit your tongue. You tell me what to say. Okay, I, I show on camera, you do, you translate. Between the three of us, we're one YouTuber pairman. Okay, folks, I'm gonna show you what to do. This is an issue that's been driving me nuts for quite a while because I'm an idiot. I didn't realize that this was something that's fairly easily fixable by putting the machine in DFU mode and connecting it to another machine. Okay, so here's the machine. This is a very common issue where it's taking 5 volts uh, on the charge port, but PP by G3 hot is 12.3 to 12.5 volts. So what we're going to do, and the, the machine is totally clean, no liquid damage, no short circuit on the board. So we're going to take a USB cable, 
and we're going to plug in our other computer that we have that we use for this over here. This is the, yeah. So, and we're going to run this program. This is Apple Configurator 2, which I believe you can get from the App Store. So now I'm going to plug this in, and how do you choose which port you plug this into? So you have to plug it into the master port. So now, once I've plugged it in, see, this computer I have plugged in with a USB-C to USB-C cable. You can buy these on, on Amazon for like 12 bucks, the original Apple one. And I get this on the screen. So once I see this on the screen, what I do is... You have to double click here. Double click there, of course. I'm totally not taking credit for the Polish genius behind me that's doing all of this for me. I would never do that. Okay, so we go to Action, then we click Restore, and now it is restoring it. Yeah, that means it's seeing the T2 that's communicating with it and bumping back the firmware to whatever this has, which is probably an older version. All right, now we're going to try it with a charger plugged in. All right, let's try that again with it plugged into the charger. It's taking longer than before when it failed, so I'm hoping that means success. 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 Thanks, Apple please. Logo. Apple logo. Whoa. Okay. So it says installing OS. Now it's not done yet with installing the OS, but if you take a look, this machine that before was not booting at all, was stuck at five volts, is now giving us an Apple logo on the screen, a progress bar, and the fan is spinning. Okay. Actually, after a few minutes, you will get an error here because this is an Apple. So, yeah, really. Yeah, and well. after it, you have to turn off this machine, this one, uh -huh. um, because you can do another DFU mode on the other machine. Oh. So it locks to one DFU mode, you have to restart the yeah. machine, because yeah. it won't be, let you do one I after the other. That. Wait, what happens? So this machine, now that it's done DFU for this machine, uh -huh. Won't let you plug in another machine into it because it'll just error out. So you have to restart that, clear all, so it clears all its caches, and, it, and when that's fresh yeah. and turned on again, you can do another machine. <laughs> Wait, so this is just going to stay at installing OS forever? Yeah, yeah, you can actually. Um, we have to wait for it, but um, after we will get. Oh, we're further than we got before. So now we have to wait for this last piece. Let's see if it boots into an operating system. Is it installing from this or is it installing yeah. from it's itself? From, from itself, yeah. So. 38 minutes remaining. So uh, basically whatever update failed is probably happening right now because we reverted uh, the update and now it's going to try to update itself. With a working update, hopefully. Uh, we can try. We can do it a few months second time. I mean, if, if, if the up nothing, it just gets stuck. <laughs> what, really? Yeah. To the, what's this? Nothing. So this is the machine that we used yeah. to do the f DFU mode. Yeah, it's so, like it so sacrifices itself <laughs> to, to make the we other one. We can't close it. You can't close? Yeah, we can't. This is like a praying mantis when it has sex and then the female eats its head. Yeah, yeah. The finest part. We can do a four square. Done, yeah? But actually, no, because when we go here, we see still old Apple controller controller from 
from this computer. This is so fucking buggy. It yeah. never refreshed, yeah. And now we can close it. So we'll see if that works shortly. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chris. Anytime. With that being said, I can edit you out of the video and pretend I came up with this on my own. <laughs> Nobody will be the wiser. All right, so we'll come back in 28 minutes to figure out what's going on with that machine. Okay, back to this computer that we had over here. So it just finished updating. It actually it took about 38 minutes, but it finally finished. We got the Apple logo on the screen here. And it booted, and you can see the image over there. I'm just covering their name. It boots... And, you know, trackpad works, the fan is spinning, screen is on. So that's about it. So very often you'll have this problem with the T2 chip MacBook Pros where the machine will just will have 5 volts on a USB-C charger. It'll be taking, drawing 300 milliamps but not turning on. And PP by G3 Hot will be present. There'll be no corrosion anywhere on the board. And often it's just corrupt T2. The way that you fix this is you can download that little tool. You have to install it on another one of these machines. So we have an Office A1989 over there that we installed it on. Then you run the little program, as we showed before. You have this machine plugged in on the other end. It's going to turn on. It's going to reboot once. It's going to say it failed. It's going to go through with the update again, and it's going to take about 28 minutes for that process. It'll say it failed the second time. You hit restart, and then it just boots up into the operating system, and it works. Why does this happen randomly? Apple. Why is it that when you bring it to the store, they say you're going to have to pay about over $1,000 to fix it? Apple. 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 <laughs> Apple. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. This was a nightmare, but now it's not because we know what's wrong with it. I didn't figure this thing out either. The other guy who works here did. One of the things that makes me really happy is that I've gotten to this point of success at my company where I can hire people smarter than me to just figure things out. It's great. Like, I don't have to use my brain anymore. I could use his brain. There's this great feeling when you build something that, move, that just goes far beyond yourself. And I, just, I don't have words to describe it. There are people working here that are considerably smarter than me. They just figure things out on their own and then teach me. It's beautiful. Very humble and grateful to have people like Chris working here. And Camille. They figure this thing out. That's just awesome. Like, they just took, took the time on their own to figure this shit out. They stayed late, did overtime, just sat here, searched. I'm a lucky guy. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.